Uh, welcome to Serenity Ledger's video in uh, January 2022 for this 2015 Hymer 674 SL currently for sale uh, with us having just arrived. Um, our video will sort of point out any markings to the motorhome uh, which people coming from some distance away find very helpful. Uh, it gives a very true to life description of it as well. Uh, quite an unusual camper, obviously a decent size A class. This is left hand drive as well. It's very much geared uh, up specification wise for continental use. Um, 674SL, I think that's what I said. It's a bit dark at the back, but uh, I can assure you all the light lenses are superb. Now that bike rack there is sort of semi intact. The rest of it is in the garage. Um, so uh, we can put that back together if you want. Uh, double door access. It's lovely regarding condition. Uh, it does have gas low. You've got two 11K cylinders in there. Okay. It's full specification you can see on our uh, website or via the advert you might have seen on Autotrader or anywhere else. Um, so that side regarding condition, it's unmarked. Front end much the same. Very nice and shiny. <coughs> Believe it or not, even those front fog lights were an option. Uh, and again, this side just as nice. But there isn't really anything detrimental. I think I found a small just down here. You can just about make that out. But most of that, that, part of that will polish out. That's about the only thing that I could find on it. The garage is uh, got a huge wide opening door. There we are. Again, you'll see this better probably on the photographs. That just brightened up a bit. So there's the uh, bike rack, I said, which we can reassemble. Uh, this hasn't, by the looks of it, had a scooter in it or anything. So the garage hasn't been trashed. Electric lead ramps, other bits and pieces there. Big garage. And what I particularly like, which you don't see so often, is the uh, that lock works on the central door locking, which is nice. And then you've got your big, uh, and it's sort of four and a half meter tall on your store awning, self-seeking satellite, oyster dish up on the roof. That's a meter meter wide dish. Additional security locks. Right, let's go inside. Now, this is running on the uh, Fiat uh, Takata, 3 litre, uh, auto, so 180 brake, um, climate control in the front, the reversing camera is integrated into the screen here, it's got sat nav, leather covered steering wheel, electric windows, central door locking, uh, button to push the step in if you forget to put it in, save you getting out of the seat, uh, and the seats themselves are lovely, both do swivel, of course, lovely regarding condition. And this gives you a uh, full view of the interior. The upholstery, to be fair, all the way around the camper is, is lovely. Virtually completely unmarked. Tabletop, that's a leaf table, so that extends out further if you want it to. Forward facing seats, obviously, with uh, two seat belts, two inertia belts are there for traveling, so four person. And then your drop down bed. Up the top there, just typical Hymer quality, really nice. This is it's one of its sort of top end motorhomes at the time when it was built in 2015. Expensive camper when new, and that's very much reflected in its second hand value. But this one, as I said, has just got a lot of specification on it, non standard. 12 volt television, it's got Aldi central heating. Uh, the uh, heating, the Aldi heating can run off the engine, so it's got the built-in um, heat exchanger. So when you're driving, uh, so experience of that. If I've gone skiing before now, once you get up into the Alps with these, and it gets uh, the heater in the front will not warm anybody sat in the back, and that's where you need your Aldi heating on at the same time. It's just too much airspace inside. Uh, utilities are pretty much spotless. Worktop is worktops are unmarked. 
loads of drawer space here. Uh, this is one lock. You just press one button and it locks them all automatically. There we go. Locks and unlocks. Nice deep drawers. You've got uh, lots of un more underfloor storage through these compartments. Bathroom in here. New light. This always gets me light switches on these things. There we go. Okay, that's better. Uh, Tepper C250 electric flush toilet, duckboard in the shower, bifold doors to enclose it completely, and a nice integrated sink. Plenty of storage. Good sized bathroom. This is the level indicator for the toilet. I've not seen that before on the left. There we go. We've got one of these as well. So yeah, excellent bathroom. And then our bedroom here. Yeah. So have it as a double or have it as two singles, whichever you prefer. That extends further out if you want it to, to fill it in. But it makes it a big double, almost like a super king. Mattresses are lovely. Uh, you can um, adjust the backs so that they stay up. Uh, rather like a headrest if you're reading and what have you. Nice subdued helmet lighting all the way around. And these are sort of wardrobes in here. It's again, it's too dark so you can't really see. But that's where you hang all your bits and pieces. Uh, as you saw the big fridge freezer on the side here and the oven at the top. Uh, it's also got all the light switches all the way around have got uh, dimmers on them. And that's quite an expensive option on one of these. We've had them before. So you just hold, uh, you can uh, obviously, just like at home really, every light in here is on a dimmer switch. Uh, this is the um, electric um, uh, coffee that goes in there. See that? Put a coffee machine on there. Quite nice. And bring it back up. Plug sockets already there, etc. Yeah, good. Uh, it's it's the interior on it again is completely pristine. It's virtually unmarked. I mean, it's not a brand new moto, but it is absolutely gorgeous in every respect. And being an automatic with the specification this motorhome has got on it, uh, yeah, makes it a very attractive option for anybody looking to do sort of long-term or even short-term continental touring or even touring in the UK for that matter. We've sold lots of left-hand drives uh, to people who haven't even been out of England with their camper. Okay, that completes Serenity Ledger's video for this 2015 Hymer SL.